thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do a very quick update on the Guardian uh, 580X. Uh, after that we launched about this product about 3 months, uh, we decided to add in one more uh, spe uh, special feature to this product. And after that we added in, um, we did not do a video uh, at the time. And I think some of the customers that who purchased the first version of the Guardian uh, 580X and if after they taste it, they like it, they come back to you know purchase the again. They probably uh, have the latest version. Yeah, um, the latest version actually is in the market. It's about I think it's about more than uh, three to six months already. Uh, like I said, just uh, just now we did not do uh, you know upgrade video on, on these uh, three features uh, that we have added in. Basically, that when the Guardian is launched, uh, some of the customer have give a feedback. Uh, some like the light to be constantly on, uh, do not have the full power and the demo. Some of the customers in certain part of the country decided to, they like to be, you know, light to be only on whereby there is a motion detected. Basically, in other words, it's a security for light. So in order to, you know, fulfill all kind of demands, uh, requirement for all different kind of customer globally, I would like to use the word globally, uh, we decided to add in this uh, feature. Basically, you can choose these three selective mode, lighting mode that you want. You think is best suitable for your requirement. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna be very quick on this. Um, basically, at the back of the uh, power switch, uh, you can see that there is a LED here, and this LED will have an indication of different kind of color. Okay. Basically, you will have a green G stand for green. B stand for blue, okay, and R stand for red, yeah. So um, just to show you how we, how to use it, uh, let's say if you press the first time, you will see that this is turned into green, yeah. But of course, um, my studio right now, he, the light is very strong, so that's why the green color is not so clear. Basically, when you press the first time, it will uh, turn to green. Basically, this is mean dust to dawn. Basically, the light will be the flood light will turn on. Constantly, constant brightness uh, from dust to dawn. Yeah, uh, roughly about 200 lumens uh, is good enough for some uh, application, lighting application. Those who don't like the light to be full and dim, they like to be constantly on. Uh, this is the feature that you are asking for. Yeah, but and if you press it one more time, it will turn it to blue. Okay, now you can see it's a blue color now. All right, uh, is the normal Guardian 580X. Uh, the strongest point is whereby is you go to dim. Uh, let's say no motion detected, dim mode. Yeah, roughly about 50 lumens. Let's say no people detected or no no movement. Once the movement detected, it will go to the uh, full power. Yeah, full power mode. Uh, basically, it will punch up 730 lumen. Yeah, uh, you can learn how bright the thing is. Yeah. Uh, let's say you don't like this feature. Some of you say that mm, I, I don't like you know the demo. I don't like the constant because I like it to be a security kind of thing whereby no people, no motion, no light at all. Uh, but let's say is there some movement straight away you will activate the flood light and uh, work as a security flood light. What you can do is actually you press one more time. Uh, it will become red. Yeah. But again, I'm, I apologize that uh, you will see that red color is not so clear. Uh, basically, if you off the light right now, you will see that uh, the red is, is, is quite uh, okay. Yeah. So basically, is the motion. Yeah. So there's people. It will detect it. Uh, then the light will you know turn on at full blast, uh, full power, seven uh, seven thirty lumens, and you know that kind of thing. And let's say it's no people, uh, you will you know just uh, off the light. Yeah. So you have it. This is the another feature that we have add in and uh, if you today you get a Guardian 5 S0X it will come with this uh, feature basically you can choose uh, all kind of uh, lighting mode that you like and uh, you know you can use it for all kind of application yeah um, uh, well, thanks for watching our uh, channel uh, at, the, you know, at the end I will leave you one video uh, what we do on uh, one of the uh, toilet and using the uh, Guardian uh, 580X. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, that video I, I, I provide for you. Thanks. Uh, 
Pen Zero X, uh, we have installed in the toilet uh, and the bathroom. And if you can see this, uh, we put it in conceal in here. And uh, we installed four units. And actually, this four unit is actually powered by a single uh, solar panel here. Yeah? So the solar panel actually uh, we install somewhere here. Okay, you can see a small panel mount on the wall. Uh, just outside, uh, I'm doing by green, so uh, probably will get enough sunlight. Okay. Uh, basically, this is just the uh, toilet uh, window. Okay. Turn off this one. Then uh, this is the sensor, sensor, motion sensor cable. All right. So this is one up here, and I'm just gonna put the light on first. Uh, I'm gonna use some extension. Okay, extension here, and to connect the sensor cable, and then. Uh, all the way up and then you have to power one of the light uh, for this color and this will be used uh, for taking a shower yeah. but first the shower uh, the water heater is not power uh, by solar yeah okay um, this light I did not turn it on yet uh, but I managed to connect the other two uh, yes you can see yes this is a warm color Okay, the reason it becomes warm is because the reflector uh, is a yellowish color. So the light has become uh, a bit warm. Yeah? Now I think it's in dim mode. I just don't want to activate the sensor now. Okay, uh, we got another unit. Uh, you can see. Alright. Uh, basically, it's like a twin, yeah? Another unit uh, installed there. And then the sensor is here. Okay, so now it's both are uh, in the mode. Yeah? If I step up, uh, when the sensor detected me, definitely it will turn up into full power. Yeah? So I'm going to do that and let's do this. Okay, now it's the full power mode. Alright, so you can see the full power mode uh, basically is going to light up the whole way off. Yeah. Sensor. And this is twin, eh? basically it is like one solar panel power uh, two unit of the uh, flood light. Eh? Um, but let's say if you think that it's too bright, because for me, at first I installed twin, I find out it's actually is too bright, uh, too bright, uh, just a small area. So I decided to you know do another extension uh, and make it into three. Yeah? So I'm going to show you another light. Uh, this one, two, and three. Yep. I got another one. Uh, power at this uh, second toilet. Yeah. So again, uh, of course, this is during the morning. Uh, but when you come to the night, you will find out actually uh, one single panel to power three light. Uh, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Then I decided to one panel power three light. One, two, and three. Yeah. And then I have one more panel. Uh, just uh, power this light. And, but now I'm not turning on yet. Uh, I'll make this one very, very bright. Especially this area is because when you're taking shower, uh, I would say that you need a bit brighter, it's much better, yeah? But of course this one, I did not change it to a uh, uh, yellowish reflector. This remains mean to be the clear kind of reflector. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a white light, yeah? So, like as mentioned, um, this one, you can be used to, you know, to power your bathroom, uh, your toilet, or public toilet, yeah? Bus stop and things like that, yeah? So this is one example of the 5S0X. Uh,